Welcome back, fellow electric enthusiasts, to another electrifying episode of Electricity Frenzy. Today we have a shocking topic that many of us have encountered, refrigerators that keep tripping the circuit breaker. In this video, we'll dive deep into the causes behind this frustrating issue, explore step-by-step -step diagnostic methods, and uncover practical solutions to keep your refrigerator running smoothly without those annoying breaker trips. So, if you've ever wondered why your refrigerator seems to have a mind of its own, you've come to the right place. But before we dive in, let's remember that safety always comes first. Working with electricity requires caution and expertise. If you're unsure or uncomfortable with any of the procedures we demonstrate, I highly recommend consulting a qualified electrician. They have the knowledge and skills to handle electrical issues safely. It's not your refrigerator fault. Yes, there could be a few reasons why a refrigerator keeps tripping the circuit breaker, of course a faulty refrigerator is a potential cause, but not the first one, let's discuss the most common causes of refrigerator keeps tripping circuit breaker. 1. Overloaded circuit, the circuit that the refrigerator is connected to may be overloaded. Refrigerators draw a significant amount of power when starting up, and if the circuit is already powering other high wattage appliances or devices, it can exceed the circuit's capacity and trip the breaker. 2. Faulty wiring, faulty wiring in the circuit or outlet can cause the breaker to trip. Loose connections, damaged wires, or faulty outlets can lead to excessive heat buildup and trigger the circuit breaker. 3. Defective components, the refrigerator itself may have a faulty component, such as a compressor or motor, which is drawing too much power or causing a short circuit. This can result in the breaker tripping as a safety measure. 4. Ground fault. A ground fault occurs when an electrical conductor comes into contact with a ground conductor or a conductive surface. If there is a ground fault in the refrigerator or its electrical system, it can cause the breaker to trip. 5. Breaker malfunction. In some cases, the circuit breaker itself may be faulty or worn out, causing it to trip more easily than it should. If the breaker is old or damaged, it may need to be replaced. 6. Low voltage, insufficient voltage supply can cause the refrigerator to draw more current to compensate, potentially leading to the tripping of the circuit breaker. Low voltage can occur due to issues with the electrical supply or problems within the electrical system of the building. Now, let's discuss step-by-step -step diagnosis for each cause. 1. Overloaded circuit. To diagnose if the circuit is overloaded, follow these steps. A. Check the circuit that the refrigerator is connected to. Identify if there are other high wattage appliances or devices on the same circuit. B. Calculate the total power consumption of all the devices on the circuit. Ensure that it does not exceed the circuit's capacity, which is usually indicated on the breaker. C. If the total power consumption is close to or exceeds the circuit's capacity, consider redistributing the appliances to different circuits or using a dedicated circuit for the refrigerator. D. As an additional diagnostic step, try plugging the refrigerator into a different circuit in the house that is not heavily loaded. If it operates without tripping the breaker, it confirms that the original circuit was overloaded. 2. Faulty wiring. To diagnose faulty wiring, follow these steps. A. Visually inspect the outlet and wiring connected to the refrigerator. Look for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, loose connections, or burn marks. B. Carefully check the outlet for stability. Gently wiggle the plug to see if it feels loose. C. If any damage or instability is found, it is recommended to contact a qualified electrician to repair or replace the faulty wiring or outlet. 3. Defective components. To diagnose defective components in the refrigerator, follow these steps. A. Check if the breaker trips immediately upon starting or at random intervals. If it consistently trips during startup, it may indicate a faulty compressor or motor. B. Consult the refrigerator's manual or contact the manufacturer for specific troubleshooting steps related to compressor or motor issues. C. If the issue persists, it is advisable to have a professional appliance repair technician inspect and repair the faulty components. 4. Ground fault. To diagnose a ground fault, follow these steps. A. Ensure that the refrigerator is properly grounded. Check the grounding wire connection at the back of the appliance to ensure it is securely attached. B. Inspect the power cord for any visible damage or exposed wires. Replace the power cord if any issues are detected. C. If you suspect a ground fault but are unable to identify or resolve it yourself, it is important to seek assistance from a qualified electrician. 5. Low voltage. To diagnose low voltage issues, follow these steps. A. Measure the voltage at the outlet using a multimeter or contact a professional electrician to perform the measurement. B. 
Compare the measured voltage with the specified operating voltage range for the refrigerator, usually found in the user manual or on the manufacturer's website. C. If the measured voltage consistently falls below the specified range, contact the power utility company to address the low voltage issue or consult with an electrician to evaluate and potentially upgrade the electrical system. 6. Breaker malfunction. To diagnose a malfunctioning breaker, follow these steps. A. Reset the breaker by turning it off and then back on. Observe if it continues to trip without any load or when the refrigerator is the only device connected. B. If the breaker trips immediately or frequently under normal operating conditions, it may indicate a faulty breaker. Consider consulting an electrician to replace the breaker with a new one. If you are uncertain or uncomfortable with performing these diagnostic steps, it is recommended to consult a qualified electrician who can identify the underlying cause of the issue and carry out any necessary repairs or replacements.